This is the old man talking. I have a uh, bit on YouTube for a while. I, I put up some things that, you know, I've done uh, for profit <laughs> or uh, experimental things and that sort of stuff. But I haven't really put up a, a blog that dealing with uh, bipolar and old age. A uh, good friend of mine out there, still hippie, has uh, requested that I answer some questions about what it's like to be an old guy of 74. I'm going to answer them, of course, from uh, my perspective, you know. I've, I'm just one old man. <laughs> like, if you ask somebody, what it's... What is it like to be 30, right? You'd have a lot of different answers. There are a few of us, fewer of us at 74, but you could get an awful lot of different answers too because the way we view life is be, is based on the experiences we've had. And when you reach 74, nobody's had the same experiences. We've all differed. Some in major ways, some in minor ways. The first question was, is it better to be single or have a companion? Well, I think it's better to have a companion. Uh, my wife is a real support in my life. She lets me know when I'm, uh, you know, going off the deep end. Just having someone close to you that you love who shared your life. We've been buried, I better <laughs> say, like 43 years, whatever the time is. For we were buried in 1969. Sure, you have rough times, you have happy times, but uh, I highly recommend having a companion. Does one uh, still need a plan in life? Well, <laughs> you don't have too much time to plan, but do you still think about alternate choices and things you might do? You might, we might move. We might, uh, I might change my business a little or something like that. So, yeah, in a way, you're, you're still thinking of some plans other than, uh, you know, your funeral preparations, having your will ready. Certainly, you think about death. I mean, so many of your friends have passed on. You look at the paper, you see guys, you know, younger than 74, died right and left. I'm in good health, but uh, yeah, you think about death. And am I prepared? Well, as far as I know, I'm prepared, but that's going to all change when the time comes and I have to face the fact that you know, I won't be around next Christmas or whatever. Uh, I feel like I'm prepared. Does one always think about the past <laughs> or live a day or now? Well, with 74 years, had a lot of pleasant memories and some not so pleasant. And the fact that I'm introspective anyhow, as most writers are. Beats. Yeah, I think about the past quite a bit, but I also think about the future. Day-to-day, uh, -day, right? Your memory isn't so good, so you tend to stay in a routine, because when you stay in a routine, you can remember where you place things and what you're doing. I'm not at first to change you by routine for a while, but I'm always happy to get back into my routine. <laughs> okay, uh, still happy. What else do we have here? Is the desire to learn still there? For me, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I, I love to learn new things on the computer. Right now, I'm experimenting with a lot of video things. I hope to make a little money out of it, but it's really the fun of learning. And I love to read histories, learn about the past. Of course, of course no, there's no... We don't bore, we don't bore about, about today. today. We do, we do about, about yesterday. yesterday. And when you go back 2,000 years, years, right, there's, there's a lot of guesswork, guesswork involved. 
I saw I read various books, books you know, trying to figure out what has motivated people through history. Are all, all the great leaders, good, bad, bipolar, you know, or suffered from some delusion that they were greater than anyone else? Uh, that and many other things. Desire to acquire new skills? Sure. <laughs> we don't want to just sit in the rock chair and think about the past. Although, right, I know there may come a time when basically that's what I'm doing. And if so, I have a lot of nice memories from the past to think about. Regrets are few. <laughs> Too few to mention. No one knows how they're going to uh, react uh, when th they're died, how, whether they're going to be able to accept it uh, gracefully or go out fighting. I don't know. <laughs> I figure I'm all set, but time will tell. Uh, my wife, who's been with a number of people when they're died, says that many people need to be reassured that it's okay to die because there's that innate something that is that wants to right live forever. We don't want to say goodbye. And uh, I don't know, I still have that nasty little voice in my head when I'm depressed that says, I wish I was dead, but well <laughs> That voice may shut up <laughs> at that time. Anyhow, I'm sure I haven't answered all your questions. But if you have more questions, let me know. And this is the old man talking, saying bye-bye. <laughs>